Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's your boy Megalugi here, aka The Chosen One, and today we're going to be looking at another competitive guide, today focusing on Zerkatry. We'll be looking at movesets, typings, damage calc, steam options, and more. Now in these beginning stages of the meta, I do want to say these movesets are going to be version 1.0, so there will be some room for improvement, so if there's anything you want to add, make sure to let me know down below, and without further ado, let's get into it. So like I said, today we're going to be looking at Zerkatry, which is one of the infamous Ultra Beasts from the game. Definitely a very new thing for Pokemon, but nonetheless, Zerkatry is the pure electric type, meaning it has one weakness and one weakness only, being the ground type. So it is pretty easy to build around this one in terms of patching up some weaknesses, but offensively you are super effective against water and flying types. So one weakness, two super effective coverage, not a bad trade-off, but not much else to say about that. Now onto its stats, we can immediately see that one stat that just bouncing off the screen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you see that correctly. Your eyes are not fooling you. But starting from the top, it starts with 83 HP, 89 attack, 74 on defense, 1 mother F and 73 attack, 71 special defense, and 83 speed. So it is fair to say that this special attack is going to absolutely destroy Pokemon and its defenses aren't too frail either that a pebble will knock you out. You also have decent speed with 83, not the fastest but outspeed the likes of Mamoswine and Heatran. Now onto its ability, it has the same one as all the other Ultra Beasts called Beast Boost. Beast Boost is a new ability that increases your highest stat by plus one whenever you knock a Pokemon out. In Zerkatry's case, even if you go max speed timid, your special attack set will always be the highest, so every time after you kill a Pokemon, your special attack set goes up by plus one. So to translate that to the real world, GG. So now for an overview of this Pokemon. This Pokemon has the highest stat of all the Ultra Beasts with its special attack set at 173. That is just falling 2 points behind Mega Alakazam. Its speed is also decent enough to outspeed Pokemon like Heatran, Mamoswine, Buzzswole, and Dragonite. With a Choice Scarf, it outspeeds Pokemon up to base 148 like Mega Beedrill and Mega Lopunny. It has some decent coverage as well with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Grass Knot, Dazzling Gleam, and Signal Beam. It also has some other moves like Thunder Wave, Calm Mind, Reflect and Light Screen, Hypnosis, and very notably, Tail Glow. If its special attack wasn't high enough, you can now boost it up to plus 3. I'm sorry, GG man. You will sometimes however run into a bit of a 4 move slot syndrome, not knowing whether you want to run Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, or either some hidden power like Ice or Fire. So now onto the first potential moveset, you're going to be rocking the moves Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Grass Knot, and either Dazzling Gleam or Hidden Power Ice. The nature is going to be either Timid or Modest depending on your preference, and the EVs are going to be 4 HP, Max Special Attack, Max Speed, either holding the Choice Scarf or the Choice Specs. Choice Scarf if you want to outspeed a lot of things and just get some damage off, knowing that after you kill something you will get that plus one special attack boost because of Beast Boost. And Choice Specs if you just want to plow through things and have nothing live your hits, but at the end of the day it really is up to you whether you want some speed or some damage. And the next set is probably going to be my favorite, shout out to the man Troy Gaming, also known as the Magiarna Madman, he let me know this set, he is one of my subscribers, he faced me, and he almost demolished me with it, so I had to make a video, but nonetheless, the moves are Hypnosis, Tail Glow, Thunderbolt, and either Hidden Power Ice, or Grass Knot. The EVs are 240 HP, 8 special attack, 252 speed with a timid nature. But the real kicker of this is the Psychium Z in the combination with Hypnosis and Tail Glow. So if you aren't aware, Psychium Z is the Psychic type Z move crystal that you can hold, and when you combine that with Hypnosis, which still is 60% accurate however, not only do you put your opponent to sleep, but you get a plus 1 speed. You heard that right, hold the Psychium Z, put your opponent to sleep with Hypnosis, and you get an automatic plus 1 speed. Now with your opponent asleep, you can set up with Tail Glow, plus 1 speed, plus 3 special attack, pretty much GG, that is why I love this set. The reason why we go for 240 HP instead of maxing your special attack is so that you can live some potential hits since you aren't that frail and then set up on your opponent. You do have to rely on a 60% accurate move with Hypnosis, but more than half the time you're going to be able to hit it and if you do, pretty much GG from there. Let me know if you guys ever try this set. Moving on to some damage calcs, a Choice Specs Thunderbolt 2-8 KOs the likes of Max Pidef Heatran, it Oko's Run and Wash, and it 2-8 KOs Max Special Defensive Clefable. Choice Specs Grass Knot, Oko's Hippowdon, 2-8 KOs Offensive Garchomp, and Oko's Special Defensive Slowbro after Stealth Rocks. A plus 3 Tail Glow Thunderbolt Oko's the likes of Clefable, 82% Max versus the Tapu Bulu who resists it, Oko's Special Defensive Heatran after Rocks, and Oko's Tapu Lele. And also, because of the 248 HP, you are 5 hit KO'd from a Mega Scissors Bullet Punch, 52 max percent taken from a Banded Azurumil's Aqua Jet, and 68% max from a Bisharp Sucker Punch. 
The reason why I include these damage clocks are because they are priority moves, so you outspeed them anyway, and that's why you need this HP investment. Now onto some team options, this is actually the team that my man faced me with and almost got me swept. It is Zerkatry, a Mega Charizard X, a Life Orb Sheer Force Lando I, a Leftovers Tapu Fini, Choice Banded Feromosa, and Weakness Policy Aegislash. The team works out and rounds out really well, so this is actually a team they can go ahead and play with and put the work in against your opponent. Very very fun and let me know what you guys think of it. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, a competitive guide on Zerkatry. This one was definitely fun to make, let me know what you think of it and of course make sure to check out my man, his link will be in the description down below for helping me out with this set. But until next time, it's been your boy Megalugi here checking out. Peace!